Hello and welcome to module two. Uh, we're going to do a power presentation on how, not a power presentation, a packet tracer presentation. So we're going to do um, a point to point OSPF configuration. So when we're all done, so just you know, put it all together and uh, submit the packet tracer. Okay. All right. So let's start. We're going to bring in three routers, one, nine, uh, 2901 routers. With three routers as you can see let's get some switches put a two switches one right here and one on the other end and let's bring in some end devices a pc a pc on this end and a pc on on the other end all right let's just change the labels on these guys uh, let's make this guy right here is pc2 this is going to be s2 this is going to be um, R3, actually, because this is on the third router. Okay, so let's call it R3. That's okay, this is going to be R2. And this one is R1. This is going to be S1. These are just uh, the labels on, on top of the devices. And this is, we're going to make that into um, PC1. All right, so let's do the connections. Get a straight through cable. Go from, go from the uh, fast ethernet PC1 to the switch fast ethernet 01, get another one. And go from the switch 02 to the router gigabit 0 slash 0. Let's do the LAN 2, PC2, fast ethernet, to switch to zero one and another one <clears throat> from switch to to the gigabit ethernet of the router all right if you click on the router router one and you look in the back this is the back of the router i'm going to zoom in okay and you can see you have the two ethernet gigabit ethernet ports those are your lan interfaces you have the two usb ports where you can put in usb drives to uh to back up your os os or config file or to upload anything else you want you got the uh management ports the auxiliary port and the console port where you connect to manage the router here you got the serial port so on the serial port end if you see this let me just move this over a little bit all right, so when we are typing, for example, this is slot zero, all of these ports, and you have sub slot zero, sub slot one, sub slot two, sub slot three. So when you bring in a high, <coughs> excuse me, high wide area network interface card 2T into here, there's two serial ports. So for example, if I take the high wake 2T, I try to put it in here. Is first of all, it's going to say the power. You got to turn the power off. You can't put a NIC inside the slot without turning the power off. So you go right down here, turn the power off. Just click on that, and bring in a high wick 2T. All right. So, and you got two serial ports. The top serial port is one, and the bottom serial port is zero. So, for example, what happened? What would this port if I plugged in my cable to this serial port? It's going to be in here. I'm just going to write this down here for you. So you'll see. Uh, let me see. Let me go back to the router. It's not going to work. You know what? Let me just go back in here. So it'll be serial zero because it, the whole thing is slot zero. It's zero slash sub slot zero. And it's serial zero one. So it's zero slash zero slash. Well, if I picked the bottom serial port, it'll be zero. So it'll be serial triple zero. If I took this NIC and I put it in here, let's say, instead, let me just throw this over. And I'll bring in another one and I'll put it right in here. Oops, let me bring that. That's not the wrong one. I'm going to bring in a WIC 2T, put it in here. And let's say I connect it to the port on the top, serial one. So it'll be S0, 
because it's slot zero. S slash two because it's in slot sub slot two and one on the top because I'm connected to serial port one. So it's S zero slash two slash one. All right. But what we want to do, let me bring that over and bring in a high wick to T and put it into here because I want to use S zero slash zero slash zero, which is right here. All right. So turn your router on and let's do the same thing for the other routers. So click on router two. Uh, let me move this over, turn off the power, and bring a high wick to T and put it right in here and turn the power back on. Okay, and let's do the same thing to R3. Turn the power off, bring in a high wick to T, and turn the power back on. All right, now we are going to connect them through serial connection, directly connected. We are going to connect them through a serial DCE. All right, so pick that, the one with the clock. And it all depends on where you go. If you go to router 2, then router 2 is the DCE end. So click on router 2 and choose serial triple zero. And move over to R1. Click on that and choose serial triple zero. Now, what that means, serial R2, the triple zero, is going to provide the clock rate. It's called the DCE, Data Communication Equipment. R2 will be the DTE. It'll be receiving the data. All right, so we're going to make R2 is the DCE for both ends. So click on the DCE serial. You have to go to R2 first. If you go to R3 and connect it to that serial port, then R3 will be the DCE. So if you pick the DCE cable, you need to go to the router first that you want to be the DCE to provide the clock rate. So you go choose serial 001 and then go to R3 serial triple zero. All right. Now let's make up some IP addressing. I'm going to just get a note, put it right here. I'm one of, I want this network to be 192.168.10.0 slash 24. All right. I want this link to be, um, 10.10.10.4 slash 30. I want this link to be 11.11.11.8 slash 30. And I want this network to be 172.16.100.128, let's say, slash 25. All right. I want this PC to have a dot one. And so is this PC. Right. I want the default gateway to have the last IP address in the subnet. So this is going to be dot 254. And this one is going to be dot 126. All right. I want this serial port to have dot. I'm sorry, this is going to be dot, let's say, this is going to be dot 5, and this serial port is going to have the dot 6. Let's make this the, this one is going to be the dot 9, and that one on the bottom is going to be the dot 10. All right, so I'll click back in here. Let me just fix these up a little bit. And there is my IP addressing for the network. Now let's start configuring. Go to PC1. And let's do the configuration for PC1. The static configuration. I'll click on IP configuration and give it the IP. 192.168.10.1. Hit the tab, tab. 192.168.10.1. All right, that's the default gateway. All right, let me go to the other PC. And um, let me just move this over a little bit. Let me give it the IP address 172.16.100.1. Right? Tap, tap. Oops, nope. This is going to be what? 
255.255.128, right? Is that slash 25? Whoa, that's too many tools. Okay, that's good. And the default gateway is going to be 170, 172.16.100.126, right? Because we wanted this guy to be 126. All right, so we're good. Now let's configure the router interfaces. So let's go to R1. All right, and I'm going to go to the CLI, say no, and dot en config t, no IP domain, look up, a host name of R1, interface g0 slash 0, IP at, 192.168.10.254 with a mask of 255, 255, 255.0 and just type no shot. All right, let me go to the interface serial triple zero and give it the IP address 10.10.10.5. Uh, .10 .10 255.255.255.252 slash 30 space. Okay, well, that's it. And then all it needs is a no shutter. Enter, and we're all good. Now let's go to R2. And do the same thing. And do the CLI. Oh, the power, it's not powered. So I'll power the on. Okay, it's powering. While it's powering, let's go and... All right, we'll just wait till it powers. All right, just say no. Let it power. Uh, EN, config T, no IP domain lookup. All right, and a host name of R2. Let's go to the serial interface triple zero. And give it the IP at 110.10.10.6 with slash 32, uh, 30. And um, add mask. Oops, you got to do 252, right? And then do a clock rate of 64,000 bits per second and a no shot and let's go to the interface serial 001 and give it the ip at 11.11.11.9 with a mask of 255 255 255 252 it also needs a clock rate of 64,000 bits per second and a no shot. All right, so that's that. Let me go to R3 and go to CLI for R3. Say no. EN config T. No IP domain lookup and host name of r3 let's go to the interface serial triple zero first and give it the ip at um one uh, 11 dot 11 dot 11 dot 10 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 252 all right just say no shot and let me go to the interface G0 slash 0 and give it the IP at 172.16.100.126 with 255.255.255.256 dot 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 Okay. And type no shot. All right. You should be all. This is all we need. So please submit. 
troubleshoot, make sure you can ping the default gateways on both ends. Only the default gateways, okay?